care placer, I believe all caregivers are great. No matter what kind of condition you are caring for, there's something truly special about caregivers. However, as you know, a care blazer is a dementia care hero. That is somebody caring for somebody with dementia. And there are quite a few differences between non-dementia caregivers and dementia caregivers. And I want to use this video to highlight some of the more prominent differences to really showcase the important work you're doing, the challenging work you're doing, and how incredibly amazing it is that you are doing this work because it is different than caring for somebody without dementia. Let's hop in. Oh, and if you're new here, my name is Dr. Natalie. I'm a board certified Jero psychologist, and you have landed on the channel where we talk about everything dementia. If you have a specific question or topic you would like to see on this channel, leave it in a comment below and we will add it to our list or point you in the direction of where we already have a video on that topic. Let's talk first about time commitment. Dementia caregivers spend much more time caregiving than non-dementia caregivers. On average, a dementia caregiver spends 92 hours a month in comparison to a non-dementia caregiver who spends 68 hours a month caregiving. Also, as a little side statistic, 85% of caregivers for people with dementia are unpaid family members. Let's move on to the emotional and mental health impact of dementia caregiving. 59% of dementia caregivers report high or very high levels of emotional stress compared to 41% of non-dementia caregivers. Overall, dementia caregivers are at higher risk for depression with studies showing that up to 40% of dementia caregivers experience depressive symptoms. Okay, now let's move on to another important difference. Get this, this is not pretty. Let's talk about the physical health impact of dementia caregiving. 35% of dementia caregivers report that their health has worsened due to caregiving versus just 19% of non-dementia caregivers. 40% of dementia caregivers report very high physical strain as a result of caregiving. Another difference is in employment. Now, this is hard to hear as well, but 57% of dementia caregivers have had to go into work late, leave early, or take time off of work to provide caregiving needs to their loved one versus 47% of other types of caregivers. And another difference between dementia caregiving versus other types of caregiving is that the average span of dementia caregiving lasts longer than non-dementia caregiving, with non-dementia caregiving usually lasting about four years and dementia caregiving lasting an average of 4.9 years. And if I had to add maybe one other difference, it would be the long-term trajectory of dementia caregiving and how a person with dementia's needs are going to increase over time, which means that the caregiving demands become greater and greater and greater over time. Now, what would you add to this list? How do you think dementia caregiving in particular, differs from non-dementia caregiving. I think off the top of my head, what I would also include is some of the significant behavioral factors that come along with caregiving and the fact that many people with dementia don't recognize they have dementia, may not believe they have dementia, so it makes it that much more difficult for the caregiver to provide care to somebody who doesn't think they need care versus other types of caregiving don't necessarily have that challenging component. So what would you add to this list? Regardless, it is very clear, dementia caregiving comes with its own set of challenges. All caregivers are amazing, but dementia care blazers in particular have a special place in my heart. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for all your hard work. I'm sending you so much love. And if you'd like to join a supportive community of care blazers who get together every single week to offer support, offer guidance, shed tears, get feedback, check out our Care Collective program where we do this type of thing every single week. There's a link in the description. Sending you love. Bye. Also, Nico gets a belly rub for every person who subscribes from this video. So if you haven't already, click the red subscribe button. It's totally free. And Nico says, thank you very much.